welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can change our city values data to the graph for qpcr relative expression data of the genes so in this example i will show you here how we can change the data and uh, the good thing you don't need to do anything i have designed a sheet you just need to enter your city values and it will change uh, to the relative expression data automatically because i have integrated the formulas in excel uh, later on i will also tell you how you can uh, get this excel sheet uh, but let's uh, start with how we can uh, arrange our city values for relative expression data so let's suppose uh, we have a few condition like here we have a control conditions and another we have infected like the treatment so and we also have the different times like control this is for control and this is uh, the infected one uh, this is the different time like this was for 24 hours and this was control for 72 hours similarly this was infected uh, for 72 hours similarly this is control for 120 hours and this is infected for 20 hours so uh, this is the gene uh, tested value like whatever you uh, want to test your gene relative expression this is the city value of that gene in control and this is the city value of that condition if of housekeeping gene like this we are using ubiquitin so uh, you can use any of your like ubiquitin actin gadph or any of you whatever you want it depends on what you have used in your data so uh, just you need to uh, make and arrange your city values which you can extract from your qpcr real data so in the next uh, sheet i can show you uh, here i have just uh, design like this is the control values for 24 we know every gene we replicate for three times so here you just need to enter the values of city values like city values here we have just pasted for control 24 hours so uh, for me uh, the values were 23.86 23.487 and you just need to enter your values here for your control gene for testing and for the same one uh, what was the values of in this condition for the house coping gene i have entered that the values here so because here i have integrated the formulas when you will just change the value it will change all the values automatically let's suppose for you the values are like 25.1 uh 25.2 you can notice each value is changing automatically because the here i have integrated formulas so here like this uh you can just enter your all the values for control this is for this is for control uh this one is gene tested and this one is housekeeping gene the next one is the same for your opposite treatment like here you can use your high temperature or your treatment anyone but you are testing so for the same gene in the opposite treatment its values are this so and for the ubiquitin gene or your housekeeping gene values are this so you just need to enter your values here and here it will change your data automatically so let's suppose uh, here for similarly i have designed for next one and this one and this one so now uh, here i will show you how you can change this data into graph when you will uh, enter your city values here so it will automatically give you a value of delta delta city method like one here so the for c24 uh, the first delta delta city method is automatically normalized to one and here it's standard error of difference you just need this value and this value this is your rear value on the next sheet i can show you uh, here i have shown uh, like this c24 so the actual value for delta letter city matter was one and the standard error of difference was 0.16 from where we get this was one and this was 0.16 okay so you can take these values as such 
so uh, for the next uh, three the values are 0 0.84 and 0 0.135 so here it is uh, the next values we can see that the values are 0 0.3 and uh, 0 0.3084 and the standard error of difference is 0 0.135 so uh, yeah 0 0.84 and 1.135 okay and the next value is 1 and 0 0.15 so we can see that 0.1 and 15. So, so the next value is 0.32 and 0.16. So this is 0.32 and 0.16. The next value is 1 and 0.22. So this is the 1 and 0.22. The next value is 1.1331 and 0.1. This is the standard error of difference. So 1.331 and 0.15. So here just I have uh, uh, copy and pasted all of these values here. You can just similarly copy paste your values here. Then we can see that uh, this is like the 24 hour and uh, this is 72 hours. This is 120 hour. So I have just uh, changed them 7, 24 hour, 120. So uh, in the, all the 24 hours this this and this so uh, we can just change the values and paste it here we can like the for the control one this is the control we have just change uh, the value in and make them their transpose so now we can see that this value is one we have pasted here for the infected one the same value is 0.3 so we have just pasted this these two values here and the next two values are here 0 0.13 and 0 0.2 yeah this these two values we have pasted here for 72 hour and for 120 we have pasted these values here so now uh, these are the standard error of uh, difference we can see that the first one was 0 0.16 and 0 0.13 the next two were 0 0.15 and 0 0.16 and the next two are 0 0.22 and 0 0.15 so when you will just enter it will automatically change into a graph you can use this graph for your data or for your paper or wherever you want to use this you just need to copy and paste anywhere hope so uh, this sheet would be helpful uh, to change your city values to uh, rt expression data so uh, now I will tell you how, how you can get this sheet. Uh, the first method you can simply uh, go. I have just pasted this uh, this sheet in the Google Sheet. You can simply uh, go to this video link and can download uh, download this sheet directly. Or the second option here is my group. You can just uh, so you can just join this group and here i you can go to these files when you will go to this group you can go to this file options and here i have just uh, uploaded this uh, data which is the delta delta city method uh, excel template by dr asif you can use this one and the last option if you if both of these options are not working for you you can just use this email but please use this as a last option i will send you that email uh, reply and will uh, send this template uh, as attachment thank you for watching if you have still any other question please let me know thank you for watching bye bye